If Cardinal Hume was here today, I'd, I'd love to ask him the question of what should they do next with the centre, because he'd, uh, he'd have lots of very good ideas that we probably hadn't thought of. I support the Cardinal Hume Centre because I uh, utterly sympathise with its activities, um, but my original connection and interest in the centre was caused by the fact that I was fortunate enough to know Basil Hume and to be a young person uh, at a school which was attached to the monastery where he was the abbot. And um, although it may be difficult to imagine now, I was in my day <laughs> quite a fine sportsman and he was very influential on that. And so we always had a very easy rapport and I was uh, growing up at the time when he was very comfortable in, in his space and, and much more involved with parents and the activities of the school. So I, I was very fortunate indeed, uh, even to the extent that I remember him turning up at a on a bicycle um, at an athletics meeting in, in West London in the middle of the summer holidays when I didn't think anyone other than my own parents knew that I was running in this race. And there was this man in his baggy corduroy trousers and uh, his jacket on who'd come to support uh, an event like that. He was not an individual uh, who stood on ceremony. I, I always used to feel sorry for him when I saw him on television wearing all those garments and everything else because he was always at his happiest either in an old pair of trousers or or in his Benedictine, in his very simple Benedictine uh, habit rather than with all the sort of regalia of office. He had the common touch if, 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 if that was right for the moment or he was highly intelligent and could carve you into pieces on any subject he, he cared to while at the same time if you wanted to be bored with the history of Newcastle United. He was an absolute expert on that and many other uh, matters of, of, of sport and other things as well. If Cardinal Hume was here today, the first and most important thing I'd want to ask him is why Newcastle United have continued to do so badly, uh, despite him presumably now having a profound influence uh, over their performance.